Welcome to News 9. Now the attack we hear on uh, Teki Nandini in Talagattapura has taken a twist. The police commissioner and, ho and the home, uh, home minister today in fact has come out and uh, said that Nandini's attack was not because of her pointing out at illegal cow slaughter but was a result of road rage. Yes, the home minister spoke to the media today stating that Nandini could have herself misrepresented with facts. Listen in. The Teki mob attack case has only gotten murkier. After arresting 13 men with regards to the attack, the police has now come around to point fingers at Nandini. After the police commissioner's statement just yesterday, the Home Minister has now come out to comment on the issue. Home Minister Ramlinga Reddy said that the police have not tried to dilute the case against cow protection activist Nandini. The Home Minister further added that it is impossible to dilute a case like this by the police or the government for that matter. Police <laughs> Just yesterday, the police commissioner too had issued a statement on the attack, stating that they acted immediately on her advice and even rescued three cows from the spot. Speaking at the press conference, the police said that Nandini was attacked by a mob not because of a complaint against cow slaughter, but because she rammed a car into a rickshaw and a mutton shop. This reportedly angered the locals who started throwing stones at the car. The commissioner also responded to Nandini's allegations, stating that they had clearly advised her not to go back to the spot to cross-check on police action. But she still did. ಅವರಲ್ಲಿಗೆ Nandini too has responded to the police commissioner and rubbished all such claims. She stated that she was attacked when she was trying to escape the angry mob and that's when she bumped into a pole. Nandini says the police version on the incident was not true. After my uh, complaint was lodged, then they have made a statement that I have hit a auto. Okay, and uh, today they are making a statement that uh, you know i've hit both or uh, and something new actually also some pole right and they have sent me a notice of uh, destruction of public property okay let me tell you this that first of all i was already attacked as soon as i reached the dead end and the two constables who were accompanying me from the police station they immediately ran out as soon as the first stone hit the back glass of my car and shattered it. As soon as they happened, they panicked and they immediately ran out of the car. One of them has even dropped their helmet in the car with a photograph of the car as soon as it entered the police station after the accident is available with us, right? As proof that there was that constable in the car, whereas the police have been claiming all the time that we went on our own. Right? The other thing is that 
you know there is a illegal slaughtering happening that's the big issue that issue is getting sidelined by saying i have done an accident if i am trying to escape a mob of 150 people which is hurling large large construction concrete bricks at me from all directions in the process i hit one of the sticks which is supporting an unauthorized structure in the street just to avoid the mob and running over the mob is there anything wrong in it i don't have a right to save my life really and there was definitely the statement that i have hit a auto that i have hit a wall etc are all false i have not done anything of that sort and it is absolutely false to say that the violence started as soon as i hit these things the violence was already on and i was trying to save myself and the bigger question for the viewers is that isn't it a joke that the police commissioner is calling a press conference to justify the actions of a mafia mob which did a murderous attack on me and that the whole larger issue of the fact that anybody who tries to expose illegal slaughtering gets the same treatment whether it is me or whether it is even the court commissioners that's the larger issue that whoever tries to expose illegal slaughtering is met it with the same experience and which is such a horrifying uh, attack kind of experience is kind of set aside and this issue that you know this lady has gone and caused an accident and caused the mob to react like this is being clarified to protect the mafia. The police have now summoned Nandini to investigate into the case further and has assured that only the truth will be presented. A News 9 report. Well, you heard that. Do you feel that facts have been butchered now uh, here by the police department themselves? Of course, joining us here is uh, Nandini herself. Uh, also, we have Omar Sharif, a religious thinker, who can comment on uh, possibly the incident, of course, uh, who is in the know of the incident quite well. Hemant Kumar, senior journalist, also joining us. Nandini, your reaction to the Home Minister today, just uh, uh, this morning, he came out and uh, spoke to the media saying that this was a case of road rage, clearly, and uh, they had very well warned you not to go back to the area, said that they would will take action uh, going by your complaint saying uh, you you complain to them first that there was illegal cow slaughter happening the cops said that they will take action they also warned you not to go back to that spot but you still went and after you went while you know you you, you saw the place and while you were moving forward you were trying to uh, you know that, that that was the report given by the police that you were trying to speed off and while you were speeding off you rammed into a pole and then into an auto the pole fell to on top of a mutton uh, shop and that's when uh, you know all of these people were uh, furious and came at you and when they came at you you refused to step outside the car you refused to get off the car which is why they started pelting stones and uh, we even understand that a few women pulled you out of the car is what would be your reaction to that and please narrate your uh, side of the story well now some new angles have got added about these women pulling me out of the car it's absolutely ridiculous there was no time to do any of that i'll stick to the story which i have always told there is no change to that madam Unlike the police version, which keeps changing every time, that first I've hit, uh, you know, a wall, then an auto, and now some mutton shop, right? So I still maintain the same thing that I was assured that 15 to 20 policemen are already doing a rescue operation for the last two hours, and we had not seen any cows getting rescued and coming back to the station. We requested to, uh, you know, say that okay, let's go with some police and uh, you know show the spot where it was originally spotted and uh, they sent two constables with us with the assurance that 15 to 20 policemen are already at the spot and in that process when i reached the dead end where actual illegal slaughtering activity happens i realized that there was no police over there and as soon as i reached the dead end the stone pelting started with full fury hmm. i don't know if you any of the journalists have visited the spot but from the dead end to outside is hardly 300 meters mm. and do you think that people would be uh, don't you think people would have been ready with all this to cause this much damage mm. if you know this accident would have happened and you know was there time for the mob to gear up with all these ammunition to create so much of damage to me to my car etc mm. in that much time Hmm. right that's the question that i have i mean in in the process of ex escaping that mob which was already when the attack was on 
if I hit a khamba on the way out, is there anything wrong in trying to save my life? I have not run over any humans in the process. I have taken care that, you know, I avoided the running over anybody from the mob. Hmm. I'm trying to do all this instead hmm. of showing any sympathy. There are these theories and false stories. I have proofs that the constables were with me. I have do you proofs. Think, do you think the police are reacting this way because you said that they must have conspired or they must have been party to this, uh, you know, attack? Maybe, maybe that's why they're retorting in such a manner. Welcome back, uh, Nandini. You were saying uh, that you know all, all of the uh, you know fa uh, all of the statements that the police and the Home Minister made were concocted. What is what is what is your reason? What do you think is the real reason for them to actually have uh, come up with these false statements uh, going by you? Well, uh, I would first like to say that you know I have I have given uh, the videos of where the the SHO is again and again saying 15 to 20 people are there, you go, you go, you know, he's telling this openly. He's telling you to go back there. Why did he ask you to go there? He is telling uh, my friends to go there, okay? And, uh, you know, so that's the way he has also agreed for us to go there with the two constables. I have a photograph of the helmet of the constable who left my car in a hurry in the car. I have, you know, had to open my uh, sling and show my injuries to prove that, you know, I got injured. In the MLC, the police have not even done an x-ray when such a big stone, which is again a photograph of that stone lying on my lap. I had driven all the way back to the police station with it still lying on my lap. Mm. That photograph is also there with me. And when that kind of injuries happened, they did not even do an x-ray. Mm. For the last three days, my hands have been paining so much. We had to do a second opinion and uh, a fracture has been found in the elbow mm. and a very uh, you know, serious tissue and injury. this is due to stone pelting? that huge boulder had landed on my uh, you know arm here and imagine if it would have handed you know landed somewhere else so i think the police wanted me to you know everybody wants me to die to really prove what i was saying is correct i really don't know what uh, you know people are expecting do you uh, think so do you think the, the police's reaction is, comes after you you accuse them of being party to this uh, attack well that you can ask them what uh, do you feel what do you feel personally well i think uh, you know uh, every time they have not been really sincere in this whole thing and even the photographs of the cows that were taken at the time when we had spotted them versus the cows which are standing outside the police station are different hmm. okay so uh, though there is a claim for out of 14 cows three have been saved but they are not matching with the cows that were originally videographed hmm. right so they are different cows so I think that uh, you know maybe uh, you know the police is uh, just trying to protect their interest uh, in uh, trying to cover up their lapses, whatever has happened and definitely it could have been a reaction of the fact uh, that, you know, I felt that they were complicit in this whole thing because mm. the mob was ready. As soon as I reached the dead end, everybody kind of from the outside of the lane also came in and uh, the stone pelting started immediately. It was as if people were waiting for me to reach the dead end and mm. there was no policeman at the dead end where I was told 15 to 20 are there and we have the policeman stating that on record. Mm. Hemant? I tell you what. I do not agree with the statement of the commissioner, hmm. police commissioner. He is a thorough professional and a fine officer. But I am surprised that he has made this statement. Hmm. I tell you why. This statement I would like to describe it as a diversionary tactic. Hmm. It is unconvincing and specious. Hmm. For the simple reason, it is not difficult for the police to get a first hand information from the ground zero mm. from the spot mm. why did the police took three i think three days mm. three or four days to get this theory mm. of nandini having had a road rage accident with a cow with a pole with a mutton shop and with an auto rickshaw because of his the attack mm. that if if the if attack could have happened it would have should have happened on the highway that is on the main road mm. not somewhere inside the 200 meters 150 meters inside away from the high road mm. a b as you rightly asked Ms. Nandini, the police were not aware, hmm. neither the local police nor the top brass of the city police, were not aware of the video clipping of what Nandini play, you, you played on that day, yes. next day of the incident. She, you, I was here on the same panel on that day. Hmm. We played a video, you played a uh, video clipping footage hmm. Hmm. where it is seen that the police officer, I don't know whether he is an inspector or a sub-inspector. SHO. SHO. He is, he is telling her to 
ಹೋಗ್ರಿ ನೀವು ನೀವು ಹೋಗ್ರಿ ನೀವು ಹೋಗಿ ಗೋ ಯು ಗೋ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಓವರ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ನೀವು ಹೋಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೈದು ಜನ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ವೈ ಡಿಡ್ ಯು ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಪಾಟ್ ನೋ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಐ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೂವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹರ್ ಹೂವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ನೋ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಆಫೀಸರ್ಸ್ ಆನೆಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಶೋ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ದಿ ಪೊಲೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಈಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ the the video footage you people got it whatever it is obtained and then played it mm. that has made the police to think and see in journalism in journalistic parlance we are speak of giving a spin off to a story mm. but we don't we don't distort the fact mm. we don't change the fact mm. see we we go by cardinal principle mm. facts are sacred mm. comments are free am i right mm. you are also a journalist yeah so when we give a spin off to a story it is to make it interesting but here in this case you are totally twisting the facts mm. to suit your argument mm. that's why i say it is specious mm. it is unconvincing it is an after thought mm. it cannot be like that mm. no they, he said that there are 2025 officers for what and he said that near to this you spot. no no i i am i'm not able to get a clear picture here he said that to you or he said that to your friends over saying he, that he, he is he said that to both that's what i'm saying that he kept maintaining from the beginning that 2025 officers are at the spot doing the rescue mm. and then we asked the question that why is it taking more than 2 hours for the rescue to happen because nothing had turned up at the police station mm. maybe they have not spotted where it is mm. so maybe we can uh, go with some police force and show or, them. yeah show them the spot so that it is becomes faster and that you know before it gets out of hand they can rescue it and come mm. right so and the assurance that 2025 officers are already there and two constables were there in the car was uh, reassuring and as soon as i reached the beginning of the lane 30 40 people i observed so i, I was assured that the police must be there because normally people will come you saw a crowd i saw a crowd at the beginning of the lane so i thought that definitely police must be there that's why the crowd is there mm. i did not realize that the crowd was perhaps waiting for me mm. as soon as it's a 300 meter lane with a dead end mm. so at the beginning of the lane is what i saw and as soon as i got in after that i don't have any memory of what happened because dhar 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 the stones just started hmm. uh, and hmm. i could just you know find i was just trying to find way to just get out of that place hmm. i mean that, that's how i kind of in total fear had driven out of that place hmm. in the process you re- you drove out in reverse gear or how i reversed only at the uh, the, the dead, uh, end. dead end and uh, my car was straight i was going out straight Hmm. So you are already reversed. Yeah, I when I was reversing is when the first stone hit and the constables ran out. Hmm. I have repeated the same thing again and again. I am not changing my version every day because hmm. from day one I am stating the truth. Hmm. When the versions are changing every time. And did they block your car so entirely? So if, if for example, it was a fact that 2025 policemen were there, then they would not have been fumbling for these facts. right or they would not have been changing the facts every day and like he said that it is like concocted the whole thing mm. uh the way it is playing out i mean what else do i have to prove you know first uh, the injuries were questioned then uh this uh, you know i have to go and figure out that i have a fracture because in the mlc they never did a x ray mm. when in such situations x ray is a must mm. they must do an x ray when a heavy object has of hit of course yeah hit my hand yeah then uh, then we were told no no you went uh, without uh, constables without uh, you know any uh, uh, you know uh, concurrence without the concurrence you tell me madam can i command two constables to sit in my car i mean can i even command anybody from your team to accompany me without your permission does it ever work and the police force it definitely does not work and they were definitely there and there is proof of that there is proof that they are maintaining this story of 2025 constables and that attitude that yes you go to the spot through the second recording because mm. that definitely uh, you know whatever you played on your channel the first was the uh, helmet and the second uh, visual that was shown uh, was about this recording mm. so is again and again saying the same thing mm. that, that uh, go go there where go people to are the spot. there people are there so 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 the, you you feel the entire attack itself was pre planned that is the feeling i got because uh, in hindsight when i think about it it was as if just the moment that i reached the dead end uh, and it started over um first and foremost i would like to say that uh, it is not a twist in the case because from the day one i am following the news 
from Logical Indian and uh, Indian Express, I always said there are two versions. Although I did not want to disclose what is the next version, today it's time, it's mm. ripe. The first version is what Sister has said. And the second version is that what the Commissioner has said now. And that was exactly what DCP Sharanappa said from the day one. Mm. There's another version. Mm. When that was said, what we did, we sent some people, some media people to check it out and find out what is the local uh, people trying, what are the local people trying to say. Mm. So the local people said exactly what the commissioner said. Mm. What the commissioner said today, the local people said. Mm. Irrespective and of- what was that? They said that uh, the lady happened to visit there earlier. Mm. I don't know the exact time. She had come there and she had left that place. That's mm. all they have seen. Some mm. people have seen, but they don't know who she is. Mm. So it's a question mark. Some lady is coming and she's going, she's taking some video and she's taking some pictures. Mm. And later in the evening again, when it was dark, she has come to that place. And when she was there and taking pictures, some four boys, they have seen that. And one of them has thrown a stone at her mm. on the car. Mm. This is the exact version. I'm going to just quote all the references also. Right. Okay. One of them, he has thrown the stone at the, pelted the stone at the car. Mm. And immediately she gets panicky and she rushes into the car. She starts the car and she drives it very fast, very unusual manner because she got scared and she goes and rams into few things around there. Mm. And according to the version, their local version is an auto and according to another version, it is the post and, and post or whatever. And the, uh, what do you call, went and um, it, it damaged the part of the uh, shop or something, butcher mm. shop or whatever. So this is what we I have heard from the local version. Mm. Now, evidences should speak for itself. Mm. The merit of the case is based on the evidences. Mm. If she has got some proofs to say that no, 100 people came and they manhandled me, mm. then that will speak for itself. Mm. But now again, she's saying that when they were throwing the stone, she could not, she vaguely could understand what was happening mm. and she had to run away from that place. Mm. So we can't take these kind of statements to be concrete enough to say like what exactly happened. Mm. So to say that somebody is running a mafia network there, that in itself is a big statement. Mm. You know, mafia is someone controlling the whole thing. Mm. But if you happen to go and see there, you find the poor people there who are slaughtering the animals and making their livelihood based on that. Mm. Okay, that is their bread and butter. But it's illegal. If it is illegal, the papers have to speak for itself. Mm. It is for the authorities to check it out. Mm. For me, for a person who move around in that area, I cannot say for sure whether it is legal or illegal. Mm. Sir, there is, the only paperwork, one, there is only one legal slaughterhouse papers. in the whole of Bangalore, Excuse which me, is in Tannery Road. Let me, let me just that, uh, that I'm very let, clear Let on. me finish. See, you, yeah. you, whatever you are, you are still an activist, okay? There are people of authorities. She has got no business in that place. Let me tell it very clearly without mincing words. She, as a citizen, I can go and complain to the police. If the police is not performing, I can go to the DCP, the higher authority, or I can go to the commissioner and make, or I can go to the human rights or whatever, paperwork. Even if that is not done, lodge a case, take the lawyers. But if you feel there's something going wrong, I cannot go like James Bond and try to do something unless and until I'm equipped with that. Hmm. And I would not do that. And if you are not capable enough, you should not be there. And I don't understand the mindset of the so-called, uh, you know, animal rights people. I don't understand. If you're really caring for animals, the first thing you should be worried about chicken, chicken stall. Yes, animals. Well, I think I think we're deviating from no, no, that. No, no. That's still that's still that's still a deviation. What I'm trying to say, that's there are many deviation. chicken no, no, no. shops there. Ultimately, there are many chicken I'm shops sorry, there. I'm sorry, sir. That is not that is legal as see, per our country's see, laws. See, it is legal, legal, so we don't go after things. See, which animal are rights. Legal. If you're talking about animal rights, yes. You, see, legal and illegal again. It is for not for you and me. It no, is it for is the for authorities. Me. It is for me. It's for the authorities to surely confirm. We can't confirm it. I understand what is legal and what is not legal, and I go as per the the other day, the advocate was very clearly saying that it is absolutely legal to slaughter the uh, cattle in Karnataka. Hmm. The other day, the advocate who was here, then he Mr. Was Dananjai, he Mr. Was Dananjai, wrong. no, see, again, she's saying the Supreme Court lawyer is wrong. She's saying the Supreme Court lawyer is wrong, but I'm yes, saying he, I have. He's a tax lawyer, the, sir. What does he know about uh, cattle laws? See, now, now again, you are contesting with the people of law. Hey, man. That is a big no way. Let's not get into the. Beef and chicken and other. Yeah, thing. exactly. Let's yeah. not question, deviate from that. Question here deviating. is the question here is the collapse of law and order. Mm. Simple. A woman has been attacked. Mm. Now I, I I said that it it, it, it is the, the statement of the police is a diversionary tactic. Now tell me, I I heard uh, Ram, Mr. Ramalinga Reddy, Home Minister, speaking on the uh, to the media. He said, police or ge, parasitiya na twist mada avashkate illa. There is no need for the police to twist or dilute twist facts. Or dilute yeah. facts. 
Is there any need for Nandini to twist the fact? Hmm. What is the need for her? Is, does, she, does she have, have got anything against, against the local police? Why should she, she, she twist the fact? If she has really involved in an accident, automobile accident, involving a auto rickshaw and but, a... But, but, uh, in but, spite of running away, uh, ma'am, I will notice no, if I, act, I have an accident with the auto, I don't agree with the sir's uh, statements huh? that, uh, you know, if she didn't even know. Are, if I have hit a kamba, I said, no, I have hit a kamba in, in the your process. FIR that, yeah. that you filed, have you written there that you have hit a kamba? No, that I did not write. Hmm. But I have been, uh, never, never denied it. Times now interviewed me on day one and I said in the process I have hit a comma. On day one only I have said. I have not hidden that as a fact. Hmm. It is not a new fact which has uh, come out. You can see well, the Times well, now footage. Did, did you forget to mention it in the FIR or was it a conscious, I mean, no, did you think it was not important? It was, I was running for my life. I wanted people to look at it like that. Mm. It is not like I was going there with the, in, you know, this thing of destructing somebody's property or it was not even a property. It was just a kamba, madam. Mm. It is, and and where, where is this auto a, theory has come auto from? Auto theory, you please ask uh, the police from where it has come. It is definitely, I have not hit it. Is there, is there an auto that they can, uh, Omar, you said that yeah, maybe yeah, there's... Seen one, I've seen one picture. Huh. In fact, uh, the picture where an auto wa was fallen down mm. and that picture was uh, sent to me and I've got that picture also. I've also sent to most of the media mm. people, mm. including to members of TV9. But Nandini has no recollection of an auto being there at all. I can't say what is of fact. Of course. I, mean, I can only I, say what I has come to me. I have not hit any auto, madam. I, so there was no auto there? I, I, in my path, there was no auto which I have hit. Mm. Let me say that. Mm. Okay, let me be all very right. accurate on what I am saying. Right. Right. So I have not hit any auto and it was not in my path of uh, when I was trying to escape. Right. So I don't know where, where, uh, we'll come back to you, Hema. <laughs> we'll slip, a, slip into a quick break here. We'll be right back. Funny. Welcome back. Well, uh, coming back, Hema, you were, you were having <laughs> a point. Exactly. So, See, it is with, with full sense of responsibility and consciousness, I am telling you that it is a diversionary tactic. It is an afterthought. You know what, very, I mean, p honestly speaking, it, see, it appears the same way. I mean, if, if at all there were uh, facts that they, the cops Madam, or the I know for had sure to because present, I've been a, they, ha they would have done it on day one and not four days I've later. When Omar could have got whatever he had to get in a day's time I tell of you, finding out, why, why should the cops I, take I tell so you what, days, I've so been a journalist for the past 27 years. I know how the system functions. Hmm. In front of a couple of journalists, the police could get information from Koppal. Mm. What exactly happened? Three, four sources, tuck, 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 they got it. In an hour. And factual. In, in my 45, 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Mm. Here they Talaga three Tapura. days. What is Talagattapura? Where is Talagattapura? No, precisely. That's what I'm saying. Omar so went, he, got, he found out whatever why details they, why in, a, in police, less than a, why did the half police, a day. Why, did, why they, did the police take three days? Three How? days to make the statement. Easy. You tell me now. Is it not an afterthought? Everybody can make it. I, that's why I I'm surprised. I have been saying the same thing again and again. I don't know for the last four no, days. No, no. Mm -hmm. My question is very valid. The Home Minister, Honorable Home Minister says there is no need for the police to twist. Now my, my counter question is, is there, is there any need for the Nandini to twist her case? Mm. Her, her statement? Has she, has she twisted her statement right from day one? No. She has been consistent. Okay. So, see, I think, I, why did the police do all these things? Is a question. Why? Why did the police go? The police have to answer that. Under whose what does it appear to you? Un, un, under, the, under whose instructions the police have to issue the case? A, B. Whom are they going to protect? Hmm. Because logical question. The next logical question is: As a journalist, I would say, the Who are you trying to protect? Is my next logical question. Hmm. Can can they answer? <laughs> well, they took three days to answer one. Uh, you know. See, you know, they should not, they should not, I tell while, you what, so. I, I tell you what, the, the police in Bangalore in, in particular and the Karnataka in general are thorough professionals. I know for them, mm -hmm. I know there are some, there may be some black sheep, it's like any organization including media. But the question here is, if you act under somebody's instructions, see you can tell, you achieve this and come, don't tell how to go about, mm -hmm. you leave it to me, I'm a professional, mm -hmm. I will do it. The man on the spot is the best judge. To say what has happened, what has not happened. The man on the spot, the officer on the spot is the best person to decide what force is to be taken or not. And they have not justified of the two constables running away from the spot, right? Then, they, they, have, have, they have denied their presence in Twitter as well as I think in Facebook. They have denied that they, they, they were there in the first place. They said I went unaccompanied only with my friend. And where were your friends at that time? 
So I, one friend was with me and two friends were in the police station and two cops were in my car. So I was sitting in the driver's seat next to me a constable was there behind him my friend was there and behind me there was another constable. So and and I, in I, your car, I locked and the, the car. moment they started pelting stones, the constables I, I got locked, off and I ran locked off. the car as soon as the stone pelting started, thinking if somebody tries to open the door and do something, then by instinct I just press the lock button and they panicked, saying, Madam, open the lock, open the lock. The cops. Yeah, and uh, one, the back one couldn't open the lock, so he jumped to the front seat and he went out. One more, I mean, point. One more point I want to make. If that's true, what chickens? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I tell you what. I, I should not use those words. Okay. Now, what I want to tell you is, the police left to themselves will do a fantastic job. A thorough professional job, fair, objective job. But here I have a feeling that the police, in other case also, which is not related to the, uh, this, this subject, and in this case, it looks like that the police is co-towing the needs of the political leadership of the day. Hmm. That is my charge. Hmm. I got a suggestion. You don't have to do much. Just take the cameras, go and interview the public there. Hmm. Let us not take the police version. Let us not. We need witness, isn't it? Hmm. And who can be better than the people around there? Hmm. Irrespective of caste and whichever religion or whichever uh, walks of life they are coming from, let's go and do a thorough investigation from the public. Public will not go wrong. Hmm. Even if you are hearing to two contradictory versions, at the end of the day, evidences cannot go wrong. Hmm. Sir, the proofs, the proofs will speak for itself. I agree with him. Yeah. I agree with Mr. Omar Sharif. Ali, question is what? Action, if, if at all the accident has taken place, now the question arises. You have to dissect. Hmm. I am a journalist. You are a journalist. Did the accident took place after she was mobbed and uh, mobbed, pelted her stones? And did the accident took place while she was returning to escape from the murderous attack? A. Or... Or, or, or did the mob did the did the, the did was she attacked when she went and uh, uh, to watch the uh, uh, to take some evidence of the slaughterhouses? I did not step out of the car, sir. As soon as I reached the dead end, I was attacked. So that means so, at the end of the day, there is something question. wrong. We cannot say that. The so of course, yeah, fact is, is, of course right something is wrong. Fact <laughs> is, of course all something all is wrong. Can't say all that. All that all all whatever, see, whatever I can gather so, here, so all of the facts presented by her side and the police side, for that matter, may the facts are possibly true, but the chronological order is Correct. is jumbled up. Yes, it's yes. mixed up. It's, so, it's uh, so was she attacked because she took a video, or was she taking because she was taking a picture, or because she was spying on that illegal slaughterhouse, or or because she saw that was going back, ramped into something and then they got an opportunity to, to vent their anger which they already had on you. That's, did they, the, no, 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 that's, the, that's the did, thing. Did they vent their anger because she hit somebody or did they vent their anger because she found out that they lived there are sort correct, of correct. See, this is, correct. These are the finer points have to be debated and investigated by the police. Hmm. In a very fair, objective, impartial, mm. professional manner. And and but, the mistake question, that Nandini has done is not mentioning that is, in her FIR saying that she rammed into something. And yeah. that's what the police has, have picked. I mean, so, it's been easier for them. No, but, but, but why? It has why? been easier for them. It's been easier for why, them. Because why? I'm not a professional. I'm not <laughs> writing like FIRs every other day. And in the process of, I did not think that it, it was anything wrong. That in the process of, trying to escape. I mean, it didn't strike me that in the process of trying to escape, if I hit a khamba, which has actually damaged my car more than the khamba got damaged, mm. that, you know, that is the relevant fact. Mm. The no, fact but, that but I was still, man, attacked. it's a fact that you can't miss out of, uh, uh, from an FIR. That's, that's crucial because see what happened. Look what the cops did, right? Now, they they jump on anything uh, that is a loose. I, I because ultimately you need to remember that you you <laughs> actually targeted the police for actually conspiring in this case. So you really thought that they will not, uh, you know, try to pull up some string uh, to make sure that they, they look like, uh, you know, they're right? I have learned of the hard way. Yeah. Yes. I have learned right. All right. Way. So I'll come back to you after a quick break. Be oh, right back. Oh, oh. Welcome back. Um, going back to Nandini. Nandini, um, you know, you missed out the point that uh, you rammed into a pole and because of that it looks like the cops have had a field day they've they've uh, pulled out that fact and you know uh, you know added multiple things to it saying that you've rammed into an auto you've you've uh, you know the pole fell on the mutton shop the, you, there was loss to property or whatever damage to property uh, First of all, the mutton shop which notice. is why the, all of this angered the locals and because of road rage is why uh, it is what resulted in the attack and not because you raised your uh, hands against cow slaughter 
slaughter, illegal cow slaughter. Now that aside, more or less, if you really add two and two together, it seems like any which way the mob must have been angry for, with the fact that you, you know, you were trying to put your nose in when it was not your business apparently. Uh, but then. They had no choice but to, I mean, they, they couldn't do much but to, uh, you know, keep quiet until you actually was dri were driving back and hit into an auto or almost uh, knocked off, uh, you know, knocked off a pole. That's when they had a chance to attack you and all of that anger and that frustration uh, they showed right at that time because they, they had the chance to. And that aside, there's no CCTV cameras there. Very difficult. In that area, I don't think so. No, yeah. I, don't, I, yeah. I don't think so. The, the whole question and is... Ma'am, the point you made, I would just like to ask one question, that they, they were angry because, you know, illegal slaughtering is getting exposed. But are we saying that even if her activity is illegal, then might is right See, in this, my is, point in this no, state. No, you know, that's one thing right? that I really See. want to stress on. Nothing justifies the attack. See, nothing. Nothing absolutely justifies nothing. the attack. And for the cops to not have commented on the attack no, itself the is also, to, again, to, something to worry about. They, the, they've got to address the attack. I mean, how can you... have been insensitive enough to tell me as soon as I reach the police station, hey, don't park your car here. Go there. Not take a single picture of the car. Not take a single picture of me. Not do a mazer. And on top of it, four hours I was in the police station, they couldn't complete all these formalities. And they sent me to do a MLC one hour away in this condition. And in that MLC, they did not take an x-ray. I mean, what the hell is happening? You know, is this the, the treatment? Is this a fair treatment? I forget fair, it is thoroughly biased. The way I was treated as soon as I entered the police station, uh, you know, uh, the, in front of the police station, after getting attacked like this, not a single question was asked that what happened to you, madam. It was all the 25 minutes that it took me from the spot to reach there uh, because my windshield screen was broken, it was raining, it was dark, and anyway, it takes about some time to reach there. And these people have already got their story together, it seemed to me, because the moment I entered the police station, the senior most official said, Hey, you're gone and started attack, uh, you started this uh, violence over there, and uh, something. So it was predetermined, and that day. That was the thing. Then the next day, I mean, some other. You know, very honestly speaking, if it is, if it's indeed an illegal uh, slaughterhouse, then they're obviously you know taking their haftas. They're 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 well fed as well, that so is, they don't want to. That is what exactly I told they, the same panel discussion. They the same, don't the want same to panel. really interfere Nabila, with the three days, uh, functionings, and when somebody three, comes, their you know pocket money gets three, cut, right? If Nabila, three days, three four days ago, I said I told the gentleman was was with me. The same sister was here. I told the, uh, in the panel discussion that such Im illegal and immoral activities in an area will not take place without the knowledge of the local inspector. It is my, my, my experience. I went and complained. 1996, I'm talking about 1997. I these are known facts. Sir. I these are known, known facts. facts. But any which way. Yeah. Uh, let me tell oh you. See, I have known that place because people uh, keep frequenting there. And I'm told almost every Eid, you know, Bakri Eid, there is slaughtering of the oxen and it regularly happens. Mm. It is not something which is started uh, from last year or uh, previous year. It is their yes. way of life mm. since years, since decades, or maybe it could have been even before that. Mm. So now to educate them, if yes. at all, if at all you say it is illegal, mm. for them to get educated, what is illegal? Mm. What kind of slaughtering is illegal? Sir, Exactly. Today, the problem is... No, so, no, so what, what, no, the point uneducated. that you made is absolutely right. People are not people. educated about See, it. And, and for them, it's more like attacking their religion yeah, yeah. than attacking their business. So for it's, me, it's more like that. So, for me to say... So, so, they are not educated and they are furious because they think it's going to cut off their bread and butter, ultimately. Yes, yes. Okay. So, they, they can get, reach any levels. But the point is still not that. The point is a lady being attacked by a mob and the cops not addressing the fact, not helping her out, delaying the you know, action of, by no, four hours. Nabila, irrespective of whether the attack, murderous attack is for exposing the illegal slaughterhouse or for road rage. Yeah, it is wrong. Attack is wrong. Precisely. Attacking that is cannot wrong. be justified. Simple. Yeah, at the end of the day, attacking... Cannot be justified yeah. at Will all. Will the police address See. that issue? The, the issue is that... But that's what they're saying. No, I, like I said, they're more offended with the fact that she blamed them for conspiring with, with and the she had a video. Yeah, yeah. So video for video them, video. it's no, more a, like a... You she know, had a documentary defense. evidence on that day. Exposing the SHO, saying that... Nihogi, Nihogi ma, Nihogi ma. You go, you go, you go. There are 20, 25 officers. What? 20, 25 officers in Talgatpura. So they're what lying. Are they they, why, why did they lie? Why do you think they <laughs> lie? They lie? I'll tell you uh, one yeah. thing. Uh, yeah. See, there is... Seriously, there is a problem in our system.
Yes. We cannot deny it. The, the way that uh, sister is saying that she had to wait for hours together to That's you know, file a, uh, to terrible. lodge a Imagine complaint. That's terrible. Imagine she's had her this, injuries this and whatnot. This is the norm. Standing in the police sir, station for four hours. This is the norm actually. To, to sir, ask, sir, to this is the norm today. They are back on the wait man. No, this is the norm. Let us talk about that. This is the norm yeah, in police station. Yeah, they purposely because they demotivate you so that you don't run after it and then the case will clo close by itself naturally. Yes, yes. So that you don't pursue it. One There's more friend, headache for them, right? One of my friends was asked by a lady, some inspector, I don't want to bring the case here because it's in the court. I don't want to put in it. Gutta ni mige, Eshkar Saga Tenta. To come out of this case, do you know how much uh, you have to spend? Mm. You have to spend 10. Mm. Said, 10 thousand. My friend said 10 thousand. Re, 10 thousand Allah re, Atlaksha Kar Saga The moment you, you say that, I, I hesitate to go, uh, I mean, Exactly. You know, this is, these are tactics, uh, tactics. But uh, I'd like to ask. Uh, I mean, of course, uh, the cops also pinpointed at the fact uh, they also raised doubts on your injuries. They said that you know, for all you know, you could be faking it. One, um, number two, that the mob did not attack you. It was just uh, your injuries were as a result of the accident. Therefore, stone pelting. Uh, it was nobody touched you and whatnot. Uh, can you explain your injuries? I mean, I, I'm sorry to ask you that, but I'd still like to because you are clarifying here. So there is a picture or a video as soon as my car comes in and uh, there is a, uh, this big uh, concrete stone uh, brick boulder. boulder whatever is lying on my uh, lap. It I had carried it with me all through the journey because there was no time to, you know, the people were following me for two thirds of the distance on two wheelers, three, three people sitting on a two wheeler without helmets. There were people in, in sumo vehicle. Uh, so many of them stuffed into it and hey, hey, they were doing and following me for such a long distance, madam. And, I and, was, and you were alone in the car? I was with my friend who was sitting at the back. Did, did who, he, he she, also get he, injured? Did he get he injured? Also, yes, he did get injured. He had a stone hit on his cheek. Why, and his why doesn't he come uh, to, to speak He's with you? He's too scared because the cops have found, uh, you know, been calling him and, uh, uh, you know, he is perhaps... Uh, Everybody can't uh, speak up, right? So, you know, he's been quite scared. Uh, twice he's got calls from the cops, uh, you know, in a very... Uh, Rude this, manner. Uh, yeah, saying that, you know, why the hell you are not coming to the police station. So, of course, uh, with this kind of a condition, at least right now, we don't feel uh, comfortable going to the police station unless we take a but, lawyer But I'm go. sad. I'm actually, it's unfortunate that you're fighting your battle alone when you actually had another person in the car. He could have been great witness, at least for the fact that you're speaking with the media. He should come forward and, and testify for you. Yeah, that's very important. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, if uh, he's comfortable, I don't want to force any of my friends yes. to do something that they are not comfortable with. But this doing. is just, just, just... Yeah, so... The thing is that... I uh, mean, now you're, because you're now fighting not just with the mob there, you're also fighting the police. Yeah, so now, the, this, the, for, the video of this uh, boulder is there. That is the boulder which hit, uh, it, it shattered the glass and it hit my arm. And uh, I have a hairline fracture on my elbow. That's what this report says. And uh, I have uh, serious soft tissue injuries of my shoulder, which is uh, constraining my movement of... Uh, the shoulder to almost uh, some very few degrees mm. and uh, you know I had to wear a sling because it was painful because the police did not do an x-ray they should have found this uh, fracture and I should have got treated on day one mm. I'm getting when treated. did you do the when did do you do your x-ray when did the incident take place the, the uh, on Saturday night date Saturday night the date 14th I think 14th so you've done your first medical checkup at uh, independently because the police have done that yeah, you've done your first medical checkup independently as in it says Cochin but here in your in your report no, no, from the Lakshmi other Hospital, one is the Bangalore one Cochin, but that is uh, that is on the 18th so your first instance you've you've done it uh, privately with uh, with the hands there of, was a uh, well-wisher who saw me on TV he got my number from a channel and you and didn't, he, you didn't he, do your he, checks before that? He flew down. I did not have any uh, time to rest, madam, because the barrage of, you know, she's done this, she's done that, started from day one, right? And, and, and my hand was aching, and uh, that's why I put it in a sling. And then I, I decided that, you know, maybe it's not, uh, because the injuries were not visible outside. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the uh, whole wound had started becoming very painful and started swelling up. So, uh, immediately I sort of, uh, you know, went for a second opinion. They did an x-ray and they were shocked that in an MLC x-ray was not done. But but even if you did an x-ray, you did it almost four or five days after the incident. You should have done it uh, 
you know, earlier, so that you would have had a better standing in your own case. The next hour I, is what they are supposed to I wish I would have done it, madam, but uh, you know, like uh, things were just, it was like a whirlwind, you know, next day I didn't even know where I was, how was I was in a state of shock. And uh, the pain, the pain was pain there. Badly it was for you to go and actually get it checked. And I'm actually surprised that a private, uh, uh, you know, a, a, a doctor all the way flew down from Cochin only for this. And that's amazing. He was, that he he was really, uh, you know, moved by when he saw this. And uh, I was also very moved by the fact that you know he flew down all the way just to you know uh, check my injuries because when I I think I showed my injuries on TV, saw one of those programs, and uh, he came down specifically for this. And uh, he is the one who recommended that you immediately go uh, to some hospital and do an x-ray because he realized that I have not done one. And uh, I uh, immediately went and uh, did one the next very next day. Hmm. And uh, this was the results. And they, they said you are roaming around without a cast. Hmm. Uh, it see, could have got worse. See, this is actually, uh, let me be very frank. See, this is actually inconsistent with what is expected. Because the first thing what the uh, police would expect is the the uh, uh, proof from the uh, doctor, government doctor's hospital. government hospital government certificate. Government. That is within a NAR is what they expect generally. This it, is it has four been, days later. So four days uh, later is raising many questions because it's supposed to be within an hour or so. I mean, no doubt that our cops have also failed, uh, but they but definitely. Sir, why didn't they do no, it? as you are a person who's complaining. See, you we are, are obviously blaming it. the system no. here, Nandini, but definitely something that you've missed out on as well. No doubt. Four days of a delay, I, I'm sure Hemant would be able to uh, guide you on that. It has to be done immediately. as early as possible, if not immediately. The was done immediately. When? On the night, by the police, but they didn't take an x-ray. Where That's is the MLC report then? See, MLC it should have been done in a... See, MLC the, the norm, is, norm is we have to get it done in a government hospital because Correct. government hospitals work 24 bar 7. Mm. Sir, it is a. done in Jayanagar government hospital and ah. they have given a report of minor injuries which is mentioned in the FIR. But they did not take X-ray. They did not take X-ray and they declared it minor injuries. That's what I am saying, sir, for ah, so long. That, 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 that I, is a lapse. Am I supposed to do it? The police was supposed to do it, madam. Mm. They didn't do it. And it was left to me to do all report? these things. Do you have that report with you? No, not, not with me. Should you have it? Do no, I have to go and get it. But they have made the minor injuries report in the FIR basis the MLC. That See, Nandini, you, I hope you realize that when you're fighting a case and when you now that now you know that you're fighting the police department on the whole or the government for that fact on the whole, you need to have your standing strong. And as much as possible, we will back you, no doubt, if you're honest. But the point is, you need to have all of this in place. No matter Nabila, how much we talk or Nab debate here, no, no, it, I, won't make, Nabila, it won't matter I tomorrow. Agree with you. Unless and until you have your proof Nab and document Nabila, I agree place. with you. Now what will happen is, the whole focus of the entire uh, uh, issue will get diverted and goes towards whether she got it from government hospital or private hospital. Mm. No, but both, both, is, both, both is private. Yes. She's the got illegal, both illegal private private is, case is I mean, now. See, ultimately, the, that way the cops have collapsed. So, no, they, so, their system has collapsed. They have not done a scan initially exactly. itself. Mm. So, by so default, they can't point that out. By, by, my, my, my contention is by default, if she loses the case, the, illegal the main issue is illegal slaughterhouse. See, that 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 will get eclipsed. We need to define because of this. Uh, what do you call it? technical uh, glitches, mm. technical flaws, technical labs. Mm. Oh, you new government hospital ho lila, one naval tar lila, X-ray mars lila. All these things will come up now, mm. and police will conveniently try to divert, or they already diverted that illegal class the slaughterhouse will get issue of Ill illegal slaughterhouse existing will get eclipsed. That, that, by, yeah, that this is going to collapse fear, by default. That is my fear as well. So I have, uh, you know, uh, I have met the, uh, you know, Honorable Home Minister today saying that uh, he kept maintaining the same stance about my case. Hmm. I said, but sir, can you please do something about uh, the atrocities that are happening on animals? So he has been kind enough to have deputed, uh, you know, police officer uh, specifically for this purpose, mm. so that all these uh, this evil which is continuing uh, needs to uh, you know get addressed, mm. so that uh, you know we can go to that officer in case such issues are there. So I am at least grateful that uh, you know at least they, they've taken that action at least at least that action has happened. Uh, so that has uh, been a little bit of a reassurance. On my case, uh, you know, whatever needs to be done, we'll do and go legal mm. uh, if required. Because if this is the stance being maintained, then you know we'll have to fight it legally. Mm. But uh, you know, we can go right up to Supreme Court if required. But uh, you know, at least this small gesture of deputing a specific officer to address uh, atrocities on animals he has done today.
Well, he has done post the attack and why post mortem? Why couldn't they have done, uh, they have done it uh, prior? Uh, uh, such cases. I have two things to say. See, even if one has to go to the court of law, at the end of the day, papers have to speak evidence. or evidence should speak. So the person who had accompanied or the people who were there or some of the facts which she can, you know, tangible evidences, one thing. Secondly, to define anything as illegal, as sister is saying, she's saying well, the only legal slaughterhouse is in Tandri Road. But I am a witness. Uh, Shivajinagar, Cookstown, you come to Banshankri, there are n number of slaughterhouses which are working and people know and the customers are from all communities. Mm. You know, I, I have personally interviewed a Christian. And no, I mean that, that's, that's somehow been the culture, you know, the culture. for, now, for as say, long but now there, there, should, there should be a, if, a clamp if, down no, on illegal no, 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 houses no, the, the first or if, even if they're if at all they for a clamp down to happen exactly let them define what define is illegal define what is illegal that itself that is not happened, no, the, the high court appointed commissioner who is called as court commissioner went to a slaughterhouse uh, which according to him was illegal to serve notice and court commissioner was attacked in uh, bettahalli uh, beyond elanka new town or elanka extension whatever it is news, yes. so the police party which had uh, given protection to the court commissioner was also attacked hmm. Uh, there are also no, four we, or five we, we need to raise See, on this topic as to what is legal and illegal. It is not that easy. In this issue. It is not that easy. Because Let everything is happening almost in every area. Right. Right, I'll come back to you. I'd, I'd like to, uh, of course, uh, hear a little more on the uh, on the purpose of your visit. Of course, activism, yes, but for you to really take such a bold stance, uh, to go by yourself as a lady, commendable for 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 uh, your commitment. You want to do as much as possible by yourself, all of that. But there must have been some sort of fear, and if not, I, I'd like to know why. What was the reason for you to be so, uh, you know? boldly going in twice over into a dead end lane uh, when you know that there, there's very limited scope for escape. I'll come back to you. We'll slip into a quick break. Welcome back. Well, coming back, Nandini, I asked you a question about uh, you being so bold. I mean, great kudos to you that you are you are you are being a really uh, committed activist. But to the point of actually going into an area which you are not familiar with, and 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 the people you are not familiar with, of course, uh, that is their bread and butter. Like we hear from Omar, uh, they'll ob they're obviously going to get heated up and fired up. Uh, how did you go with so much courage? Is my is my question. I'm surprised. Well, I uh, frankly did not anticipate that there will be no cops there. First of all, because... No, but, they, the, but the cops are... Uh, even the Home Minister said that we advised her not to go back there. Uh, in spite of that, she went. That is not correct because uh, what uh, the SHO kept saying is that we do have 2025... What they said is there is no need to show the spot. Definitely, they said, because they said the people are uh, rescuing over there. Mm. Uh, but the rescue was not happening. Mm. So, we said you check, you know, if uh, there is a need to show the spot, maybe they have not found it. Mm. Right, they didn't answer that, but then he agreed to send two constables with us to show the spot. In agreement only, the constables have come. Like I said, I if you don't agree, I can't and order this is the two second of your time staff. Around. How did you know the first round? Sorry? How did you know the first round that you went? You went earlier, you went twice to that spot, right? That's the first right. round, how did you know about that place? The When we were going out with a couple of friends, we saw this uh, couple of, I mean, I've, I've made that statement before also on this channel only. We observed uh, certain 14, 15 cows, were, uh, 14 odd cows were tied at a spot. Mm. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, there were, a, uh, when we looked a little further, there were a lot of uh, unauthorized, uh, you know, beef shops over there. So one of the friends just stepped down to just see what's going on. So then two of the cows were being taken to this dead end area and uh, kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, taken into a dark place where there was a small room. So then we, uh, you know, we immediately realized this is happening and we went first to Konan Kunte police station because that was the nearest. We didn't even know that the nearest police station or the jurisdictional police station is Talgatpura. We went to the physically nearest one, which was Konan Kunte. Hmm. Then after that, Konan Kunte told us, no, it comes on the Talgatpura limit. So then we went to Talgatpura and we lodged a complaint. Hmm. So hmm. that is how it is. I have a question. Yeah. Yeah. So she was passing by. She saw some animals. How did you come to a conclusion that that is unauthorized? Do you have any paper work out? Have you worked out on the paper? Sir, Sir let me tell you one thing. My question is very simple. Let me tell no, you one thing. But she's saying that there's only one designated, one designated. you're saying multiple. Ah, impossible. 
It is, sir. It is impossible. It is, it is See, not even, impossible. even the advocates are saying that it is not that way to say that all of these things are illegal. Sir, that it is not that way. If it was so, no, no, how many? Is saying that. There are hundreds no, of No advocate slaughters. is saying this, sir. Who is educated on that how, cattle how laws? Many, how many advocates we have met? The other day, there was a Mr. Dhananjay who was here. Mr. Dhananjay is a tax said, lawyer, sir. He right. doesn't know about the cattle laws. So you say that being, he doesn't know the law. Being an no, you, you are saying that he doesn't. The See, the thing is, you are. Totally mm -hmm. contesting the person who is uh, a person who studies. Okay, anyway, law. we're not we're not debating on who is a good lawyer and who is not, and who yeah. is relevant and who is not. But no, my no, point, no. okay, the, the question point is that is you, how you, did you come to a conclusion. And, and, and my okay, like okay, let me ask you another question. He he said the multiple slaughterhouses all over the place, not just wh where you mentioned. Uh, why not there? You could have gone and made many complaints across of Bangalore city. Why? I will show you. I, I will show that, you how many that, are there. Shivaji Nagar, you will find many. Yeah, yeah, they are all over the place. Authorized. We legal? don't know. We I don't haven't know. checked the papers. No, sir, I haven't checked the papers. They're legal or not? So saying there's know. only one in the no, whole no, of the. Honestly, uh, there is. Don't Bangalore. you see? Don't you know? There's slaughterhouses everywhere. Everywhere. Sir. You see, but we don't know which is illegal, which is not How illegal. How do we come yeah. to conclusion? Yeah. There's no definition. I, issue of it. was in the High Court. That is why the High Court comi appointed commissioner went to Elanka somewhere that better early whatever in Bangalore not. Who should give a statement? Who should give it in writing? Authorities that. This is a illegal slaughterhouse. This is illegal, illegal slaughterhouse and all. Who should give a statement? Who should give? The local tasildar, deputy tasildar, health inspector, mm. whoever it is. Correct. Because in the municipality, if it is the municipal area, or if it is a corporation area, it is a health inspector, health officer. Mm. There is a there is a there is a fear, there is an apprehension among the animal rights activists in Bangalore city, mm. and in gen, in particular in Karnataka in general, that in under present dispensation. The authorities have been told, orally told by the state government, not to touch them, not to give any information to shut them the, down to, to the to the to the authorities, to the court commissioner, whoever it is, whether it is legal or illegal, authorized or unauthorized, don't say anything. Hmm. Leave it at that. Just, just leave it at that. Hmm. So this is the information. I got it. I don't have any documentary evidence, but when I speak to some. Middle, and I'm sure this as an middle level officers. I know, I'm sure this as an activist. I tell you what, DHO. I know, ma'am, because I've been in some meetings of uh, you know where AWBI folks were there, where this topic was being discussed, and one of them had put a RTI to find out at which are the authorized, which are the unauthorized ones. And in that only this fact had come up. I'll send a copy of that RTI. I'll speak to that friend of uh, mine, and I'll. Uh, you know, uh, try and see if we can send a copy of that RTI response. Yeah, all of that is fine. But my point is, why only Talgatta Pura that, that you I was saw? Going, you were, I, I was not going uh, there with the intention. You worked on your impulse? No, it no, was on your impulse. Yes, I was not going there with the intention of booking this complaint, ma'am. We were going to a friend's house uh, in that area. And uh, that is how we came across this. So a couple out of, of your friends impulse? Was, out of the, uh, you know, okay, right. concern for the animals and out of seeing that, okay, this is to be stopped. Like, if there is an injured but, dog. But again, the if question there is, is an injured dog, they're all over complete. the place. Why, why, why doesn't the... Yeah, so I have not noticed because I don't go to Shivaji Nagar. I don't have friends there. No, but everywhere else, ma'am. It's not only in Shivaji Nagar. Yeah, so if at all, I will see in the future, uh, you know, I am emboldened by the I, health. But I would really health, suggest, health. please go with police protection. I ha you, I have you, know, have so they given you security now? What, have they given you security? No, so they haven't given any security. Well, the Home Minister said they provided security to me yes they, he said yeah, that so he said that uh, you know he's designated an officer to reach out to any time we want to do such uh, you know complaints or whatever for right. anything relating to animals so is, 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 right, what, is, what, is, what is your what is your next course of action ma'am as we wrap hmm. My next course of action uh, definitely uh, will be to try and see if uh, you know uh, <coughs> what we can do if nothing works out then we'll go legal ma'am you you'll take it the legal way the yes. right way all right uh, quickly yeah what i want her to do is to find out the exact definition of what is authorized and unauthorized mm. and legal and illegal mm. and then right. she has to move ahead right. an impartial thorough probe objective fair probe to find out the reasons for the murderous attack that's is, it. Is it for that's illegal it. slaughterhouse? That's it. For whether, whether it is her accident, impartial. whether it is the illegal slaughterhouse, whatever may be the reason. Then the fact that impartial. this lady yeah. was attacked by a mob. What is, what, the police have arrested 13. Yes. Now, yes, it is, is absolutely unacceptable. unacceptable. Yeah, now, the police have arrested 13. But what is this mudslinging happening here is what we don't understand. The police, we really request you to bring out an unbiased report as soon as possible so that you put all of us at rest. Thank you so much for joining us.